guys and welcome back to Sonic Love. This is an unboxing uh, of the series on my channel of the Victorola Bluetooth turntable. It comes with three speeds, Bluetooth connectivity, stereo speakers and a 3.5mm aux in headphone jack. The model that I have and I'll be unboxing today is the Union Jack model but it comes in many different various colours styles uh, and patterns let's get right into this shall we so here we have uh, the box pretty standard box really nothing too fancy as i say this is the new union jack model Chuck the box, get rid of the polystyrene. I think it looks really nice to be honest. It's got a lovely grated feel. So let's clip this open and open it up. It's embossed, the actual name, and it's got like a felt material, which is pretty nice. I think this is just for the safety, make sure that it doesn't get damaged. Instructions on how the turntable works with the angel arm and so forth, speeds, power on and off. Bluetooth connectivity. Cool. That'll probably be the only time I'll read that. So first impressions, it feels really nice. I think it comes in at a budget price. It literally is only £49, I think I got it for on Amazon. I don't know whether there was a sale, but I was making this video, that's how much it was. But for a low entry, they've done a really good job of making it not feel or look like a low entry. It's got built-in speakers. I don't know if you can see that. It's got two lovely built-in speakers at the front. It's the suitcase model, so it's advertised as being portable, but I don't think it has a lithium battery inside, so I wouldn't really class it as portable. But this is the style. Looks really nice. Comes with a nice clasp. Let's close the clasp, just so we can check what's underneath. Spin it round. Same image on the bottom. We spin it around to it's really light. That's one thing I'm noticing about. It's really light, which is not a bad thing. The DC 5 volt 1 amp power cable goes into here. Obviously, you have your left and right speaker output. Now, it is Bluetooth, so when you're on Spotify with your iPhones or iPad, or you can listen to your music via Bluetooth which I think is a nice touch, especially for the modern era. But yeah, first impressions, feels very nice. Bit of fluff. Do a bit of a zooming in. So here we have the turn table itself. Got a bit of give to it, so obviously any vibrations. It's got like a stabilizing unit. There's the arm itself. I take it this is just a clasp. Yeah. I do believe it comes with a spare needle as well. Let's hope that this is with it being low budget that it's not a needle that will damage your records over time. But it's not hard to pick up a extra needle. Bit better specifications just got to make sure that it fits on the end really comes with 
comes with a locking mechanism so if you're carrying it about always make sure that you have the clasp on otherwise it might damage the needle you have the auto stop so once your record hits the end it will automatically stop which is nice three different speeds which is good bt obviously bluetooth line in will be obviously for the speakers and phono which will obviously be for the record itself here we have the main power switch on and off with volume rocker and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack also included in the box is your standard power cable spare needle make sure you don't lose it instruction manual never read it also a standard power cable two adapters European UK British standard cool let's hook it up and let's test out the sound quality so here we have the album of choice we recognized around the world great film but it's the pulp fiction Quentin Tarantino music from the motion picture so both sides the little grooves indicate the tracks themselves so let's place the record on the player now we have a arm here if we flick this switch back and forth and down it will lower the arm onto the player itself you have a line right in the center to line it up exactly over view where you'd like the arm to rest over power switch you turn it on power light will come on and indicate as you move the arm over it will spin as you move it back over it will then stop probably got a copyright claim for the music but we'll test this just for the purpose of the video the speed is on 33 it's on phono and then we'll slowly let the lever down Okay, the speakers themselves are quite tinny, as you'd expect, really. You're not really going to get much bass from the speakers themselves, sadly. But <coughs> overall, I think if it's your first time getting into vinyl records and it's something that you want to do for a collection, uh, like myself, um, I think it's a fantastic entry level. Obviously, you can uh, improve the sound quality tenfold by getting yourself uh, some extra speakers now what i would advise is that this does not have a built-in amplifier so if you are getting separate speakers i suggest that you get active speakers with a built-in amplifier now i will be doing a separate unboxing
of the R1280T edifier with a built-in amplifier speakers. Now on the next video, I will obviously hook them up to make sure that the sound quality does improve. And then you can start off with a simple basic package uh, that you'll be happy all around. Enough to play some fantastic records <coughs> with uh, vinyl and obviously be able to throw a party at the same time as well. If it's a small room, like a bedroom, and it's something that you want to collect, these speakers are pretty ideal, really. Uh, but as I say, if you're looking for something more punchy with a bit more bass, sadly, you're not going to get that with this. It is quite tin. As far as the loud, how loud it goes, it goes pretty loud. Um, but as I say, it will distort the louder it go. The speakers themselves just aren't very good. But as a product, entry level, £49, I think it's a bargain. And I think if it's something that you're wishing to get into, as in collecting vinyls, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Get the product from Amazon. I won't put a link in the description. It's quite easy to type in the name and look for it yourself. Let me know in the comments if you plan on buying one yourself or you are an uh, avid collector yourself. And uh, it'd be nice to know. As I say, the next couple of days, I will definitely be putting a unboxing and a review of the speakers alongside with this as well so i may as well call it a part two if you like the video please like subscribe share tell a friend and look out for many many more unboxings in the future but thank you very much for stopping by take care now